who doesn't love comfort food? But after a year of lockdowns, best we pair it with something deliciously wholesome. Garlic broccolini with chili flakes and almonds to accompany our comfort food of choice. Italian beef lasagna by nice and easy. Four of them for the familia. Welcome to my kitchen, my happy place. Let's get started. You're gonna need a packet of broccolini. It's similar to broccoli, but with smaller florets and longer, thinner stems. On a medium heat, a drizzle of olive oil. Please note my new pan, which matches my new top. Hashtag living the life, hashtag so blessed. Once the oil has heated, place the broccolini into your pan nice and snug, and just let them gently heat up without much moving around. After a few minutes, add your garlic cloves, which have sliced into thin slivers. And lastly, the chili flakes, just to give your broccolini that subtle yeehaw. Now with your tongs, gently move the broccolini around the pan. Add your salt, add your coarse pepper, give them a little toss before adding half a cup of warm water to the pan. Now cover with a lid and allow to simmer for four minutes. The steam in the pan will help soften the stems and the florets. Now lasagna time. I've decanted the frozen lasagna into an oven-proof plate. This time I'll be baking them in the oven with some additional grated cheddar cheese so they get that uh, gooey, golden, cheesy crust when done. So in the oven they go. Check your box for heating instructions. Let's get back to the broccolini. We want the water to evaporate, so increase the heat to high for an additional two minutes. When done, switch off the heat and you're ready to plate. Beautifully tender, but still with crunch. Don't overcook them or they'll get soggy and taste like you're sucking water through a beach towel. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 don't leave any of that behind. Spoon all the garlic and chili flakes from the pan onto the broccolini. And supper is nearly ready. Tasty and wholesome. Yeah. But wait, for that extra crunch, sprinkle some toasted almond flakes over the broccolini. Ah, oh, does that not look beautiful? And lastly, some lemon slices for garnishing and for squeezing over the broccolini for that fresh citrus burst. And that, my fine feathered friends, is how you turn ordinary into extraordinary. Ah, oh, forget I said it. Let's eat. Lasagna out of the oven. Mmm, look at that beautiful crispiness. Ah, oh, it's perfect. Let's finish it off with some finely chopped parsley. And... Guys, come and get dinner. I'm only serving your mom, the rest of you serve yourselves, I'm not waitering tonight. There you go, babe. Your broccolini and your lasagna. <laughs> now I'll be eating in the kitchen alone, babe. Uh, watching the season finale of The Bachelor, although I'm sure quite fun, isn't my thing. I don't need to be reminded of what my life was like before marriage. <laughs> <laughs>